Firstly, may I say, Fireman Sam, it is a pleasure to meet you. Well, hello, Dom. It's, it's very, very nice to be here. Thank you very, very much. It's lovely for us to have you here. I understand this is your first ever interview. Yes, it is. It is. Um, it's my first time out of Pontypandy, really. It's, uh, you know, apart from when I was training. Yeah. Um, this is just wonderful to be here. Where did you do your training? Uh, well, it's sort of in, uh, in Cardiff. Is where, uh, right. is where I learned my trade. Okay, and was it is it nice coming to London, getting out of Ponty Pandy for a while? It's wonderful, you know, sort of uh, as they call it, the big smoke, <laughs> uh, <laughs> conveniently. Yeah. But it's uh, yeah, it's wonderful to be here. It's a big night coming up, Fireman Sam. It's bonfire night. You must be really, really busy. It does. It does tend to get a little bit busy about this time of year. But uh, do you know what? I'm here to basically promote uh, some of my safety tips. So. Uh, it is bonfire night. I have 10 top safety tips so wow. that you can enjoy a lovely, safe celebration. All of my safety tips are on the Fireman Sam uh, website, and okay. you can actually download a free fire safety booklet. Fantastic. Which is very important. Uh, first of all, bonfire do's and don'ts. Um, when you're setting up your bonfire, make sure it's well away from uh, houses, garages, sheds, fences, um, overhead cables, sort of, yes. you know, you know, uh, telephone wires or electric cables, trees, shrubs, and Always, always keep it away from fireworks. I cannot stress that enough. Yes. Um, build the bonfire so that it's stable. You'd be amazed how many bonfires can fall over. And never light a bonfire with flammable liquids. No, that is a good idea. Never to put petrol on a bonfire. It, okay, it's it's number one yeah. rule. And also, sure. of course, you know the 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 you know it can flow away from the fire towards you, which wouldn't be good. Yes. Um, keep everyone away from the fire, um, especially children. Uh, you, you must supervise them at all times and pets should always be kept indoors. We make sure radar is safely tucked up in the fire station on Good. bonfire night. And hello to um, radar as well. Yeah, oh yeah, he sends us hello. And um, in case of an emergency, always keep a bucket of water or the garden hose ready. Yes. Um, or a fire extinguisher nearby. And when your bonfire is done, mm -hmm. always pour water on the embers before leaving because you never know if a wind might whip it up. That's, that's very, very good advice, Sam. Okay, talk to us about fireworks safety, Sam. Absolutely. Um, keep fireworks in a closed metal box and only take them out one at a time. Don't take out two or three. Good tip. Uh, follow the manufacturer's instructions. Another good tip. Yeah, and read them by torchlight. Never, never do it with a naked flame. No, because that could literally go kaboom. It, it could. Mm. Um, light fireworks at arm's length yep. using a safety firework lighter or a fuse wick. Yes. Um, they're very easy to get hold of. Yep. And never go back to a lit firework. Because it may go off in your face. It could very easily go off in your face, asking for trouble. Absolutely. Um, always wear gloves when handling sparklers yep. for everybody and hold them at arm's length because you don't want to get caught with a spark. And once finished, Put them in a bucket of water because yeah. you don't want anybody getting burnt. Do you write your name with these factors? I do, yeah, I do. actually. I yes, do. Yeah. I, I do. Yeah. I spend hours. <laughs> I know. It's good, isn't it? Doing that. Yeah. But then normally I get called out, so I have to pop That's them in the bucket true. of water sure. and off I go. Yeah. Um, oh, and finally, never give sparklers to children under five. They're just too weak. Okay. Um, it's not worth the risk. It's not. No, no. Best to be supervised by an adult. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. There we go. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much. I think we'd all feel safer now that, that, that you've said that to us, Sam. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, I just want to talk briefly about you um, yes. and your status now. I mean, you are a bona fide celebrity. You are, you're, you're big news. You're A-list. Oh, um, I, no, stop. I, no, I really, you, really, you really, really are, no. Sam. <laughs> no, I can't, I can't think of it like that. I'm literally just doing my job. How, I, how do you cope with, with that sort of, uh, that level of interest? Well, it's funny. I mean, you know, we're kind of tucked away in Ponty Pandy. Um, obviously, we do get visitors from time to time, but yeah. most of the time I'm busy working, so I, I don't get a lot of time to really take it on board. I'm just glad people like the show and yeah. love what we do, and I'm having a ball. Now, uh, Comedy Dave, yes. uh, who uh, who works on the show, obviously, you, yes. you'll be familiar with his Absolutely. work. He had a very good point. He wanted to know what house insurance prices are like at the moment in Ponty Pandy? Because obviously you have your fair share of fires, which which keeps you very busy. Yes. Um, they must be literally through the roof, I would have thought, are they not? I believe Ponty Pandy is classed as an insurance black spot. <laughs> is, is it? Yes. Right. Um, right. We basically have a special dispensation with Lloyd's. Um, okay. we're, we're kind of like that village in Yorkshire that gets flooded every year. Oh, okay. Uh, yes, yes. It, it's It's not easy. Now, I've heard a rumour, Sam, yes. you may be able to confirm this or deny this, that when you're doing your training yes. to become the brilliant fireman that you are, yes. you often have the Chris Moyle show playing in the morning. Is that, tr it, that true? It's true. We do. Wow. Yes. 
yes, we we often, you know, we have a cup of tea and a little bit of breakfast listening to Chris and, yeah. and you know, your good self. And then we, we get out there, pop it on Jupiter's stereo, open the doors, blast it out while we're with the training tower. That makes us feel very, very proud, Sam. I think our time has come to an end, I'm afraid. Uh, it's been wonderful. Thank you for having me. It's been a pleasure for Radio... There are lots of excited people in the building at Radio 1 today, knowing that Fireman Sam is coming in to see. Well, you're very, very kind. I, you know, I'm just glad to come here and just raise awareness for Bonfire Night. You know, it's a massive night for all of the fire crews across England, and anything that the general public can do to make our lives easier would be gratefully accepted. Sam, thank you very much indeed thank for you. coming into Radio 1. It's been my great pleasure.